new. So it's a courtesy of page, page six. So to get a development about everything that's going on with the whole Travis Scott Astro World situation. One of the big issues when you're a global mega star right on that kind of level of a travis scott because you have to imagine right his albums what are selling two hundred thousand units per week you know on average um he always sells out you know his gigs and stuff that he's going on um it's just amazing right just just levels are just incredible one of the biggest issues with it is that when you get in trouble the bags it affects are just otherworldly it's not just your music it just affects so many other bags opportunities and it has so many kind of um, rippling effects in terms of who it damages brand wise that the damage is come what is somewhat untold right it's somewhat uncalculable how much it's going to cost you one kind of slip up one for a par which is why a lot of these guys hire people to cover stuff up you know to change the narrative on stuff to spin stuff ignore stuff whatever it may be just so they can avoid these things because once trouble hits it's very difficult to kind of put that shit back in a bottle and this is a good example of it courtesy of page six it says w magazine trying to pull travis scott kylie jenner cover after astroworld so i guess they had a cover story plan for them to maybe to tie in with the release of utopia maybe kylie jenner had some sort of fragrance or lip kit or something that was going to come out that was going to tie into the thing they've got a new baby on the way like just something they were all planning publicists that had in view that's now trying to be poured entirely but if you know anything about magazines they usually made months and months sometimes years in advance been put into printing and for them to get have all those been pre-printed and for them to be destroyed is going to cost upwards into the millions it's just incredible especially a magazine like w it continues here it says w magazine is desperately trying to pull this up and coming addition after putting travis scott and kaijin on the cover patrix has learned editors are in a tizzy over the issue following the astro awards festival strategy in which 10 people died and more than 30 300 people were injured during the performance by scott in houston the scott jenner cover which also featured a big interview in the issue was shot and printed before november 5th concert but had not been shipped prompting a scramble to record the magazine which obviously isn't going to happen because more likely than not someone's going to get a hold of it they're going to get hold of the cover and the interview if you publish it all online and we're still going to see it anyway and then people are going to use that as an opportunity to beat them over the head even more especially if they're showing off their austin their kind of crazy levels of wealth and whatnot people are going to use that as something to beat them over the head with so again the ripples effects of one person's you know fuck up and mistake are really 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 ever 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 or far reaching i say wwe declared um yeah, the W editors have cleared any planned coverage of Travis Scott and Kylie from their website, but the magazine was already printed and now they're trying to stop the delivery trucks once source told page six. In the light of what happened in Astro World, the interview and the cover line um, seem inappropriate to say the least. Scott 30, da, 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 da. But yeah, crazy, isn't it? Absolutely crazy, man. A W magazine is getting pulled off the back of all that shit. And then I also think there's an issue with what was it? Was it Nike, innit? I'm pretty sure I've got a Nike article here too. Nike as well, surprisingly, had decided to pull or postpone the release of the Nike Air Max Cactus ones, which again, not I don't think they were gonna be that successful anyway, because I think from what I saw online, a lot of people had some bad words to say about them. But considering that Travis has a very tight connection or relationship with nike they've obviously believed in him they've obviously kind of signed him up to do multiple pairs of shoes over the years he has a lot more in the tuck as well i think there was an air trainer one that was noted i think i saw a really strange was it an air force one or was it a jordan maybe it was air trainer one it was sort of like um it had no lining had no paneling was completely kind of covered and it looked really interesting shape wise and that was due to come out of course then obviously the capsule collections that tie in with it you know loads of stuff that goes in that he does with nike and again he's a big earner with them and obviously with air max day coming up like loads of shit that would have tied in with it that could have come out but of course this is now being poured this is courtesy of hype it says sneakers postpones the air max one and cactus jack launch it says Nike and sneakers app have postponed the release. So this read the, the flipping um, quote. It says, Our respect to everyone impacted by a tragic event at Astro World Festival. We are postponing the launch of the Air Max One and Cactus Check Nikes. And this is a big issue because let's not be under any illusions nike are always in there for the money they don't care about the fans they don't care about the consumers they've already proved it when it comes to all the slipping sneakers app in general we we were screaming from the top of our lungs that sneakers app was a flicking 
scam, right? Um, it was a flawed system, a way of people to get hold of shoes. The whole premise that you have to kind of, you know, wake up at a certain time to get into a raffle to win a pair of shoes, to get by a ch to win a chance to actually purchase a pair of shoes that you don't have a chance to buy because they've all been bottled or they've all been backdoored was absolutely crazy. They told us we were insane. They told us it was fair. Then obviously it got uncovered that it wasn't that people were gaming it. There was that issue with that kid who had his parent working at Nike and he was kind of fucking fleecing a hundred million pairs of boxes of shoes and reselling them and shit using his mum's company card like heinous stuff stuff that was going on back in the day but because we didn't have social media and we didn't have these investigative instagram accounts that exist or twitter accounts like this guy called sokji who i follow on social on twitter he's fucking an amazing follow all these type of people that didn't exist before or they weren't maybe prominent people got away with this stuff and we always knew then there was that other story i remember about that female track runner who uh, who i think was pregnant or went to go on maternity leave and nike wouldn't sponsor her and shit like really forget horrible shit that they do behind the scenes right so don't get me wrong um uh you know nike are no bastions of morality here but this is obviously a big deal because if they after all those missteps after all those kind of not giving a fuck about anything and fuck them kids kind of mantra they have for them to go to this direction obviously shows that the impact that they that this tragedy astro what has had is going to be far-reaching to the point where nike don't even think it's going to be worth it in terms of branding to align themselves with travis at this very moment like that's how bad the situation is and again like i said nike aren't beneath or they're not above you know still putting the shoes out and just making it work that way without having him promote it or not not because let's be honest sneakerheads too are you know they're scrupulous they don't give a shit right especially resellers they're still gonna buy them customers are still gonna want to pay for them double triple the price kids will queue some of the fan base i'm sure some of the travis scott fan base will use this an opportunity to actually prove their fandom i'm sure some of them will do that because i know if i was a kid and i was really a stand for a certain artist maybe i would do the same thing so again i'm not trying to put any blame on them at all but let's not be under any illusions if these shoes came out tomorrow they'd sell out in absolute minutes now i would say personally because they're not the most aesthetically pleasing shoes out of the line they're not the most hotly anticipated either out of the whole collection that maybe it was easier to postpone these than it would have been the previous ones that came out like the jordans and shit you know what i mean there's no one stopping a jordan bag you know what i mean michael jordan's gonna get on a blow and say fuck them kids you know what i mean let's just put these things out it's what it is the game's a game but the fact that they're these shoes they're not the most well received you know what i mean i think it was a bit easier to kind of um decide to kind of pull the plug but still this is a big indication if ever you needed it that things are getting real peak out there for mr travis scott mate real 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 peak and i could not imagine the toll this is going to take on the family on their finances in general again the loss of life is you know crazy and we don't even need to speak about how insane that is for the families that have been broken and shit but i'm just talking from purely from a travis scott point of view how that one misstep that one mistake that one lack of that one moment where he had a lack of care and then due maybe a lack of what's it called a lack of care or what, what's that phrase they use um not due diligence but whatever that phrase they use right where you may be trying to keep look out for your fans in that moment that look what's look what it's gonna cost going forward and again how do you recover from stuff like this that's the interesting question i want to know because more likely than not let's be honest he's not going to face any jail time off the back of this it's definitely going to be a suffering of like brand and reputation and whatnot and it's gonna have to go on a massive rehabilitation tour tour after this and the fans will be sorry the the the, the families of the kids that unfortunately passed away and and whatnot will receive you know many many millions in payouts and stuff in order to kind of somehow make up for their devastating loss for their family but in terms of him his career will obviously continue he's not going to just stop making music it's not going to happen i don't think this is an, Oct an octavian situation but it's still highly 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 undesirable and again goes to show if you don't look after your fan if you actually don't care because i'm saying i've always said people that always shout about how they love their fans don't love their fans because they talk about it too much when you love your fans you actually look after them for real for real you don't ever get yourself in these situations but then when you do get yourself in the situations, the only logical way for you to learn from this will be to feel it in your pocket because you're not going to learn any other way. You won't give a shit. The guy, what, who was the guy that fell off the fucking balcony and broke his leg and now he's in a wheelchair? I don't think he's, from what I know, if I'm digged into the story, he's not exactly um, 
he's not exactly paralyzed, but he can't walk normally in his le- on his on, on you know without crutches or without a chair. So he just uses a wheelchair for the most part. Um, you would have thought after that sort of incident, you maybe have to take a little bit of a step back and kind of re reevaluate how you kind of encourage your fans at the shows. But he didn't, and that's why I say you have to give people like Trap, you have to give people like Playboy Carti, people like no people like Trap, let's say people like Tyler Tyler the Creator more credit, and even people like ASAP Rocky. Tyler the Creator went from being the guy that had similar sort of shows, people going crazy, and then they slowly dialed it back in again. People like you know ASAP Rocky used to jump into crowds and fight people and they dialed it back in again and they've kind of over a period of time you know taught their fans how to properly behave when it comes to attending their shows and I just don't think Travis ever kind of evolved or matured for that point because there was a moment in time where everyone wanted to mosh pit everyone wanted people to rage at their festivals at their shows then people started to realize you know what it's a bit lame it's a bit corny and also not everyone's tunes you know justify a mosh pit some people just make good tunes and good enough to kind of bop and enjoy the music too and maybe people just grew up and kind of decided it was a lengthy to do in general but regardless there was a bit of a shift and evolution and it just doesn't feel he ever had that and maybe this is kind of the consequences of that who knows who bloody knows but again if that wasn't enough last one on the travis scott thing this is courtesy of tmz travis scott 750 million astral world lawsuit drake apple live nation sue too and more likely than not you know Again, no one's going to face any prison time off the back of this, which is, again, it's the most upsetting part of it. If you're a family a family member who's lost somebody in your family off the back of the situation, you're definitely going to be devastated that no one's really going to face any real consequences of this, apart from monetary fines, which, you know, again, money's going to hurt, but you can easily get that back. But people's lives can never get, get taken back in that regard. But one thing that it does do, I guess, is that it does affect maybe bags and opportunities for the long run because I think that's what court cases do. I would imagine if you're somebody of a Travis Scott and Drake level, you don't want this smudge on your name or this lawsuit to be pending because it's going to affect your ability to move, to do certain deals. Um, certain renegotiations are going to be put on ice because people don't know where you're going to be in 18 months or not. Do you know what I mean? It's, it, it's going to have far-reaching consequences that are probably going to go into the many many years as they litigate between who is to blame because no one's gonna especially when it comes to people like you know organ- companies like live nation and apple and shit they're not gonna want to accept any kind of culpability at all in a situation live nation are probably in one of the t- well both of them are in a tricky situation because if if what we believe is true from what we've been reading there was an awareness or an understanding on the f- ground level that things were already starting to get was already starting to go a bad way before he already got on stage and and then 10 minutes into the show things are already bad anyway because i think the first person passed away maybe 10 minutes into the show already so at that point there should have been a moment where they could have cut, cut the show but obviously these platforms these live streaming platforms they paid a lot of money they put the thing together they were under no circumstances going to cut the stream it was never going to happen it was kind of similar to like a dana white thing do you know what i mean if somebody that don't get me wrong if somebody was to pass away in the octagon i just i don't think dana white would ever call off a card he's just going to get that person out of the octagon and kind of continue it keep it rolling the show must go on type of thing so that's where i think these guys are going to be pointing their fingers at each other throwing each other under the bus leaking documents and shit because they don't want to be culpable at all you know solely culpable anyway they don't want to be solely culpable but yeah, the pictures of the kids that passed away, man. Ay, ay, ay. It hurts your soul every time you see it, man. Jesus Christ. Imagine going to a Travis Scott concert and passing away. Like, that must be... That, that is a form of hell, isn't it? That is a form of eternal damnation. Passing away at a fucking Travis Scott concert. Like, horrible. And it continues. It says here, Travis Scott, Drake, Apple, Live Nation, and others will now need to answer to a massive 750 million lawsuit brought against them by more than 125 fans, including the family of one who died at the festival. The suit filed by Houston attorney Tony Busby is the first of others to come place and blame on Travis and concert organizers for negligence in failing to properly plan the concert, train security personnel, and host the event safety. Yeah, or, or host a safe event some of the accounts from the security guards that have got hired is just crazy people were saying they were going to get high, paid in cash up after the uh, after the event they weren't given proper training they were just told to kind of go and you know sort it out um just incredibly horrible people were saying that i think i saw a video of some girls saying that most security guards were just chilling in the crowd some of them took off their high vis vests or smoking and shit hanging out you know whatever doing 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 what security at festivals usually do but when it comes to when it's a failed situation like this these things can make it look even worse I think off the back of this too, wasn't there an issue 
Don't, doesn't he also have a collection coming out with Dior, right? Doesn't Travis have like a Dior collection? I'm pretty sure he did like a collaboration with Kim Jones. Bloody hell, man. All this stuff's going to be affected. Um, among them, I wonder if they're going to sue as well. If that's like a breach of contract, if it can. I wonder if they do those collaborations. That's the thing they're going to do. So I wonder, maybe there's multiple lawsuits coming out. Among the plaintiffs, the family of Alex Acosta, which is this kid, RIP, man. Alex Acosta, 21 years old, absolute baby, um, who's allegedly crushed by the inc incited, unruly, and out of control crowd. Um, as for a staggering $750 million, the lawsuit claims it was covered both physical, mental, and health injuries, as well as loss of life. Busby says no amount of money will ever come um, to plaintiffs and hold. No amount of money can ever restore human life, but the damage is sought in the case cases in the attempt to fix and make up the plaintiffs nothing more and nothing less travis and live nation offered refunds almost immediately the consequence of a lawsuit addresses that offering calling it a transparent and grotesque effort to defendants to limit their liability after the fact supposedly i heard that if you accept the refunds that kind of limits or kind of nulls your ability to kind of sue which is a real slimy scummy thing to do on top of that better help thing that he was offering you know people that attended the concert like a free month or three years of better help again i don't think that was as scummy and as gross as that was i think that was mostly done when they didn't know how grave the situation was i think a lot of them or whoever it may be in his team was still under the assumption that maybe or they were hoping that it was kind of pills thing like a fentanyl issue where people pass away so then you weren't culpable but when obviously it came out that obviously most of the kids from what we've seen so far again the autopsy has been done but from what we can see most of the kids have passed away due to the negligence and the poor organization and being kind of you know essentially squashed and suffocated in those crowds is what led them to pass away you know offering people a month free on better help and using the code travis or whatnot it's just you know it just doesn't sit right it says he yeah, has we reported 10 people have now lost their lives um with the most recent being a nine-year-old boy hey, hey. law enforcement continues to investigate what caused the death but those in the audience say a crowd crushed trampled and suffocated fans sources close to travis have maintained he did not realize the severity of what was happening in the crowd while he performed photos of the cops taking photos and watching the travis show more than 25 minutes after the hfd the crowd the concert a mass casualty event seemed back casually scott's claim 750 m's lawsuit which is probably going to rise as maybe unfortunately most more people maybe end up passing away or succumbing to their injuries and shit like oh yeah yeah what an entirely horrible situation the only the only good thing i can think of that can come of this is that the likelihood of this happening again in the near future is pretty pretty slim People are going to be a high alert when it comes to safety of the fans at contests and whatnot. And all these kind of viral videos of people trampling over barricades and storming places and shit. It's going to be something that people are going to be encouraging anymore. Because that was the thing people encourage, right? That kind of crazy fandom, um, especially when it's not done in an organized and sensible manner with, with the right precautions, is definitely going to lead to these kind of catastrophes, man. But oh, sad all around, isn't it? Fucking sad all around.